I don't know, it's really cool to, to get to do what I love in a few different respects because I've always loved animals a lot and wanted to work with them in some respect but didn't know how like whether as a kid I wanted to go to vet school or you know become a dog trainer or a marine biologist which I think everybody went through that phase as a kid I want to be a, a whale trainer or something like that I wanted to work with animals and I didn't know how to do it um, so this kind of happened organically by accident and now I get to spend my day making things for animals, meeting people's animals, um, going to shows that are all about animals and so uh, I think that's really cool and I'm, I'm really grateful that I, can, that I can do that with my day every day. <laughs> so many different sides to it. You become your own um, material sourcer, you become your own bookkeeper and accountant, you become your own uh, marketer and social media uh, personality, so there's a lot of different aspects. You, I went from working a job where I had a very specific role to being all of the roles in this company, so um, that's also kind of cool. I mean, there's growing pains too, like I don't know anything about accounting, so <laughs> I'm learning how to do all that as I go, um, but it's really rewarding knowing at the end of the day that, that uh, You've kind of done it all, all yourself. It feels really special. Uh, I'm totally self-taught, actually. I, uh, my sister had some tools left over when she moved away that she had got. She had bought like a basic tool of, of leather crafting stuff, and um, she said, "Oh, you can have it if you want. It's in mom and dad's basement." And I started experimenting, and it was trial and error, and I've learned better ways to do things, um, easier ways to do things as I go. Um, but yeah, I haven't taken any classes or anything, I'm just all, all self-taught, all trial and error and experimentation. Um, I find it really rewarding to... Um, to sell things to people that I've made with my own hands because I enjoy buying things the same way. Um, I really like to own pieces that I know, I've met the people who made them, I know the story behind it. Um, they become more of a piece of your collection versus just, you know, uh, a sweater in your closet, a bracelet in your, in your jewelry box. It's, there's a story behind each piece that you've bought. Um, it has a meaning to you. There's a reason why you picked it. You know, you've, you've met the people that put it together and, and you, you've seen the heart and soul that goes into it. And so I like to be able to do the same with the products that I create. Um, you're buying more than just a collar for your dog. It's, it's a statement piece. It's a part of yours and their personality um, that you're proud to display. So I think that's really special. I think it's really cool um, to have a show where uh, across Canada everybody's getting together on a common day for a common a common purpose, um, and it's really cool for online sellers to to get to meet the people because I do quite a few um, in person markets, but not everybody who sells on Etsy does. So I think it's really cool for them to get to um, meet their clientele and for for their clientele to get to meet the maker as well, um, because for people who who don't get out to these shows. Um, you're, you're selling behind a computer, so it's kind of nice to, uh, to get out there and meet everybody, so I really enjoy that part of it. I designed a collar for our dog that uh, she used, she had to use a specific style for the training program that we did, um, but everything that I could find in the store was um, nylon and clashy and, and it just wasn't my style and I thought if she's going to have to wear these collars for the rest of her life, um, there's got to be a cooler way to personalize them and, and make them look more attractive. So that's kind of how the design was born and five years later she's still wearing the same one that I made her at the very beginning. But it, like I said, it doesn't feel like work because there's nothing I'd rather be doing, so 